I don't know what the structure is that's burning, but I'm going to step out. I don't know what type of alarm fire it is. When we got here, I just we saw the white smoke, and as we're getting closer, it's just large, large fanning flames billowing out um, all around this structure. Now, again, we don't know what this is, but this is this is this block is burning to its knees. This is a very massive fire right here. All right, Christy, can you tell us where you are and what the structure is near or around? Describe what you're seeing as you look around this, this area of East Baltimore. So I am near Federal Street, and it looks like uh, I would say Chester, and what's around it are a lot of abandoned buildings. Um, there's, a band, there's an abandoned warehouse right here, and then right here, it's, I don't even know what this is. That kind of, I don't think anyone goes into this e either, but across the street from it is just a large, uh, I don't want to say it's a field, it's just an area that has lots of grass. You think this area, this, is this going to burn? It's been burning. So you're up here burning. Okay. So is that because of the wind? No, what I want you to do is stay back a little bit, okay. so that way, if it does catch fire, okay. we can hit it with water without hitting you. Okay. Thank you. So apparently, because of the wind, um, a lot of the embers from the fire across the street is hitting this abandoned building to my right. So again, you just saw the fire chief here on scene ask me to uh, step back because in case that starts to uh, catch on fire, they're going to have to spray with the hose on this building. But, Mary, basically everything around here seems to be abandoned. Earlier, Christy, a big concern over at that CVS where you were earlier today uh, when we saw some riders actually cut through one of the fire hoses. At this point, do you see anyone lingering around, or is it just the uh, firefighters on scene at this point? No, I don't see anybody looting. I mean, mostly it's just spectators. It's just people here that are taking in the sight of the of the magnitude of this fire. Um, I just say these are people that live kind of a couple blocks away. This area right here, you don't really see anybody living here. Now, I will say, Judy, can you point down to those row homes that are across the street? Now, they're down down from here. There are some row homes. I don't know if those are occupied row homes or if those are abandoned. You never really know in this city, but those do look residential. But the side that we are standing on, we are standing in between two abandoned buildings. So as far as we're concerned, there's nobody that lives where we're standing. But down the street, there could be people that live across the street from this massive fire. And of course, if you're home tonight, you see the smoke, you smell the smoke, you see the images that we're showing on TV with all that has happened in our city today, the other fires that were set. A lot of people are very concerned, but again, we have no confirmation that this was started by rioters or if it is even related to what happened in our city today. But at the same time, it is just more resources for the city that they have to dispatch. And it's just this another tense situation in our city. You know, this has just been so incredible Christy and her crew uh, Judy and Eric Scott have been down there on the front lines of all of this today they've been hit with pepper spray twice uh, they have seen all of the destruction in one part of the city now they're witnessing this uh, destruction firsthand Christy this is the the video is just phenomenal